as always the questions for geography paper 1 were interesting uh, two of the questions directly pertain to theory and the concepts but few of the questions were really interesting the first question talked about alteplanation now we have already covered this in our section on preglacial landforms and this is a way of reduction so what is cryoplanation uh, is same as alteplanation different scholars have named it differently air mass and its modification we have discussed in our lecture on air mass in detail now sea surface temperature rise how hazardous it would be to the flora and the fauna and the uh, the life which is residing in the sea surface not only just the uh, the flora and the fauna in the sea surface but also how would it affect the coastal environment so again that's a, again a very very important question gene pools are the centers for highest biodiversity and therefore they are called as the good hope of biodiversity from gene pool every time you have one or the other question so uh, cover this section carefully in our uh, postal material we have explained this topic in detail with the various theories and every time either you have a direct question from gene pool or one of the theories which are asked now the next is plate tectonic has been derived from isostasy and continental drift uh, and the bottom topography of pacific ocean very very direct questions from geomorphology and oceanography uh, very very direct but uh, make sure that you have systematic points when you are answering the question the next question for uh, forms the ecosystem services of Himalayas are essential for sustainability in Asia mainly the highland and the lowland so we have to understand why uh, Himalayas have an important role in ecosystem preservation and how Himalayas act as an important landmark so uh, the pros and the cons have to be explained for both highlands and the lowlands now uh, food supply questions related to food security and shortage of food supply or threats to food supply are important so two questions have been asked directly on this so one is how soil quality if affected it would affect uh, actually affect the food supply now since this is one of the burdening problems we have another related question which was asked which was based on protected cultivation which is a microclimate which can be established to actually uh, resolve this issue where we have the issue of uh, food supply um, threats which are mainly due to soil degradation and soil uh, erosion now uh, varied forms of precipitation and the factors affecting those we also already know the various forms of precipitation which we have uh, so it's the dew, the rainfall, the snow, the small, uh, uh, the uh, flakes. So all those are to be understood. Then. With rising power of China, one road, uh, one belt initiative and one maritime route project of China, we have this maritime security issue which has become again important. So what are the threats and the challenges that India faces? A very, very direct question that you have to answer. Carbon neutrality and the zero emission targets for 2050. Again, two important questions which we had discussed in our expected classes. So asked very, very directly. Human ecological adaptations, a very direct question. How human beings have been adopting to the changing environmental conditions and how this can actually sustain further. Watershed delineation of watershed through stream basins and drainage divides is again an uh, important topic. Uh, in light of uh, the recent transitions, we have seen that these topics have become very, very important. Similarly, regional geography was another important topic where we had one question on the contagion and the hierarchical diffusion system the other question was based on the delineation of the formal regions so uh, again the classification of region the regional imbalances and how diffusion takes place is again important protected cultivation we already said zero carbon already talked about uh, then lightning threats now lightning and thunderstorm two very very important topics we already discussed recently a topic on cloud burst which is uh, very very close to these concepts and uh, there itself we mentioned that in your uh, uh, core books you won't find a lot of content here but yes we have covered that in the postal material both lightning and thunder in detail and both of those are extremely important so here was the question uh, central place theory again a direct question but most of the time you have questions that their relevance to the present day context have to be explained the next is development induced displacement now you can bring in a case study uh, Mekedatu uh, project is one of the case studies that you can bring then you can have 
the narda uh, river valley project another important uh, development induced displacement project so any project then uh, in the region of china itself we have this three gorges dam the behten dam uh, which has been planned and another super uh, dam which is to be planned uh, near the border of india so uh, those are some of the case studies that you can jot down here and how it would actually displace a huge lot of people the next is uh, again a question on food security as i said food supply threats to food supply food security as ac uh, accessibility and affordability is important now uh, another very very important question which pertain to regional planning was why environmental issues are not addressed and what could be done to resolve those uh, boundaries and geo politics the inclusionary and the exclusionary aspects so what is actually included and what is actually not included that is what is the inclusionary and the exclusionary uh, policy and this in terms of the indo china recent dispute becomes again a very important topic mega cities we have covered in detail so mega cities and Uh, understanding the role in global economics a very important topic and then we also have the uh, the extent of metropolitan and the uh, the uh, the development of the uh, regions which lie in one belt that is the conurbation region so all those are related topics uh, related to urban growth and urban geography very very important radicalism uh, aspect of human uh, perspective Uh, which we have already covered in this, uh, detail in our video lecture as well as uh, in the postal material now this is again a very very important question in light of the pandemic we have seen with the aging population facing a lot of uh, issues now aging population has adverse socio economic consequences how so we have to discuss the demographic dividend here and explain the concepts related to how um, the working population and the dependent population so you have to explain how the geriatric population has became uh, a, a big concern so geriatric population was again a question 3 years back a very very important topic recently in the nations where we are having negative growth rate so india on the trend of the Uh, decline in the rate of growth so we are seeing again this as a probable issue if not addressed at the right time so uh, that is again one of the major topics and then the weber's industrial location theory uh, uh, one of the theories again as we said so two theories were asked so one was weber and the other was your central place theory both of those are important and asked uh, often so that was the paper for your paper one we would also discuss the paper two uh the links for the material and the uh the relevant topics are available below uh we would be discussing this paper in detail in the upcoming lectures stay tuned good luck